Hello you gorgeous donuts, today we will be reacting to Geordie Shaw's most unhinged moments. Ugh. This show was absolutely mental, so I'm about to lose my will to live watching this. So I've put the colours on to help us through it. Just that intro gives us cringe every time I see it. Geordie Shaw, why I? Oh. Do you know how many people come up to me, like, if I'm not in Newcastle and, like, they'll, they'll, they'll know who I am or, like, they'll, they'll know that I'm from Newcastle or whatever and go, why I, man? It's like, like what, what what do I say to that? That's the one thing they they always say. Why I man? It's like a, it's like a checkmate. It's like an Uno reverse card. I just have nothing to say. She's ruined the night, and now she's downstairs screaming like some sort of banshee. <laughs> Sorry, some sort of what? Banshee. <laughs> the night, and now she's downstairs screaming like some sort of banshee. <laughs> Guys, I I'm trying to be the translator for you, but not, I I don't even have a f***ing clue what she said. Banshee. What is that? Like a like a like a. In, in badgers? I don't know. I don't know what the hell that could mean. Shut up! What have you done to yourself? You've c yourself for no reason. You need to shut the. Guys, is this like a? Is this kind of? <laughs> this brings back me childhood, guys. God, I might, well, I might have to get the tissues out here. That's a deep one. It was deep, actually, guys. A lot of them were deep. Uh, sorry. Trigger warning. Jesus. Dark times, guys. But we got past them. Don't help me. Why are these people so unhinged? What is going on? These people are outrageous. These are like the worst type of people. You know, like the, the type of people when they get drunk, they get like angry. You know, like an angry drunk. You just know, like if you've got a mate like that, you watch them. The more gins their neck, the more amstel that goes down their throat, you're like, it's about a f***ing kick off in a minute. You know them people? They start going up to people and squaring up. Oh, they're the worst. Angry drunks. Oh, oh my God, Jesus Christ. You know what, I feel like she's in well within her rights to kick you after you, you know, you literally came up to her and, you know, did what you did. I feel like that's just self-defense at that point. Also, she proper smacked her table on the corner. This was me as well. Like, if I didn't know these people, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't split that up. I'd be putting bets on it. I'd be like, Tana says Chloe gets the victory. Top comment, Chloe almost killed Charlotte. She genuinely did. What happens if she just smacked her head off the corner? Then, then we're dealing with a death. We're dealing with a death on Geordie Shaw. That is something that a treble and a kebab cannot fix. Some kebabs I've had, genuinely, that could probably bring someone back from the dead. I don't know what's in them. That's the thing after a night out though. You know when you get a kebab, you don't care what's in it. There could be any, that could be bat meat. You're like, yeah, give us it. As long as it's got garlic sauce on and some salad, give us that. Marty a heater, when everyone knows I've got a thing from, and this full time I've been worried about his ex. <laughs> it's the way she's so serious. What? Marty, he's f Sahida, when he knows that I like him, he hasn't, has he? How could he do that? She could have just said, oh, like, he's done something with that. No, she had to specifically say a finger. Outrageous. How could he do this? It was him. The fingerer. Watch out, everybody. The fingerer's on the loose. Nobody's safe. That's a little bit, uh, that's a little bit weird, actually. Hopefully people are safe. <laughs> How do I get my- I ravel myself into these things and I, sometimes I just keep digging. It's a good job this little community of the donuts. These videos go nowhere but here, right? Don't tell anybody about these videos. These are just for us. You start shouting and ranting on about Marty f***ing Tahida in the taxi. I was- In the taxi! Sorry. In the taxi. You couldn't even wait until you got home. Can you imagine being that Uber driver? Yeah. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Uh, just, just, uh, St. Peter's Road. Yeah. Great. That's a... He's alright in the back, someone being... Someone... Are you... He's... He's bloody f***ing Put that bloody finger away, will you? You're getting zero stars. Your rating's going from 5 to 4.8 after that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I might be partly to blame here, but do not start on my Chloe. Why are you partly to blame? Did you set up the fingering? Is that what you did? Did you, like, instigate... Which thing? Why are you partly to blame, love? Fingergate. That's the new pandemic. How did this... Happen. Came here to work for Anna and have fun. Guys, how does a finger cause this much emotion? Guys, you know, this is what happens, right? It's uh, it's tough on them streets, right? One minute you yeah, you're getting f the next minute you're getting pile drive to the floor and getting a smack in the face. Life comes at you fast, guys. Right? You never know when. <laughs> 
You never know when you're gonna be on top and when it's gonna be struck away from you. Why, why are they all hitting her, by the way? Surely you go for the guy. The guy's done this. She's just the one that it's happened to. Do you know what I mean? Like, surely this isn't her fault. She's well within her rights to do this. I can't believe I'm, I'm explaining it. And this is mental. And she's pulled out all of Sahida's extensions. It's getting messy and I don't like it. Right, so she's pulled out all extensions. What I do, I'd wrap it, I'd wrap it around my own finger. Like, wow. Right? Look how cool my finger is. Bet you wish I had this one. Wouldn't do that. I'd probably just cry. Oh my god! Genuinely, she's just attacked her. Like, pr like she could get her in, tr in, in like, core trouble for that. You could get, like, a restraining order for that. She just went up to her, unprovoked, and just body slammed out of the floor. But because it's on telly, it's fine. Because they're f eating a Big Mac while they do it. Ah, it's all right. How is this, how is this show aired for so many seasons? Doesn't this show have, like, 20 seasons? People are getting, like, brain damage from being on this show. Yeah, Donna said that I was playing with Ari. No, I didn't. Scott, there's people there with her. No, because I'm on it. Joking me, man. Is, is that what it's gonna be? How many times do I have to tell guys that I would never go there with money? I'm pretty sure, like, like, if I can remember rightly, I'm pretty sure that then that guy had a thing with Marnie, so he clearly would go there. Oh, he's squaring up to him, and he's boxers. By the way, what is this? Whoever used to cut Scotty T's hair should be in prison. I. This is. This is worse than the finger, right? This. What is this? This looks like an ice gem. This is like the definition of ice. How did he leave the house looking like this? Just get a buzz cut, mate. Give up. This is not it. Whatever this is, it isn't it. This is... Th these fights, this is so embarrassing. This is genuinely so... Why, whenever people fight, do they do this? Like, they start going for each other. And then they stop, and then as soon as someone like splits it up, they go, no, 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 let us happen, let us happen. It's like, well, he could have just had, like, he could have just, like, what? And why is he even fighting in the first place? What does this solve? Like, you're fighting over a girl. Like, really? Just talk it out. What does fighting it, like, oh, wow, y you punch him, he falls over. That literally solves nothing. That's just getting your ego, like, higher for no reason. That's, the, the actual situation which has happened is now just worse because the person on the floor can't talk anymore. Fighting literally solves nothing. Get dry. Come on, come on, come on, it's like a little Can't this show. How did she get tucked down by that? Watch this again. How did she get tucked down by a towel? How? Like, you know when you go outside and it's a little bit windy? Are you just knackered? Like, how'd you do that? The wind comes, you're like, oh, that's me gone. She, like, must weigh the same as a balloon. How did the towel take you out? I've never seen somebody being clotheslined by a towel. Chloe's just been close by a towel. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God! This is Hannah. Please blur that. She just started. <laughs> you know, no matter how bad your day is going right now, you might have had a terrible day. You're watching this to take your mind off it. At least you didn't get clotheslined by a towel and then just stop yourself. How does that? How does that even up? She was. She was like, I'm. Bro, just stop. Just stop p***ing. This woman's probably like a millionaire. All I need to do, I just need to stop in this videos. You know, I'm, sometimes if I'm just recording, I'll be like, two sex, just. Yeah, right? It's nice. There we go. Sorry, guys. My ah! I'm really this jet ski is like a giant f***ing Who the f*** needs Sam? Woo! Well, the last time I go on a jet ski, didn't realise there were big f***ing I didn't know people were getting off on jet skis. That's ruined it for me. Ruined it. This is terrifying, but there's no way I'm going to let Chloe beat me. Hold on tight, Nick, because I'm going to face my fears. It's so cringe. It's genuinely just so cringe. Hold on tight, Nick, because I'm going to face my fears. Okay, mate, are you? Aye. Cool. <laughs> Did it. I actually cooked it myself. Oh my god, not this guy. I forgot about this guy. This guy gives me like PTSD. This guy would be like my sleep paralysis demon. Just him with these veneers, just smiling. I'd be like, ah! In the corner of the room, just with bright white teeth, like, no! Leave, demon! She has to our what is coming out of her top? What is this? Is that a hot water bottle? My, what? Does she know that's there? Is this like a fashion accessory? I don't even. It looks like... Is it a fashion accessory? I don't know. Maybe I'm as stupid as these. I think you're going to be... It's kind of worked in our favour. Because you know I, mean? I, I, I actually f 
fucking hate you. Kind of made me realise how good it is when you're not here. Do you know when I went to Byron? I got like my star sign read where she pulled loads of these cards out like she was playing 21. On the card that she gave me, she said the relation's ready to move to the next step. Oh my god, this is actually kind of cute if he proposes to her. This is actually kind of cute. Okay, I'm going to give him this. This is actually cute. I want to put it in your ass. Because we haven't done that yet and that is the next step for the cops to go in the ass. What the f Why would he pop? That's not popping the qu- I saw the title, Pops the Question, and I thought, oh, this might be quite a cute one. Kind of add to the video. Showing an engagement, right? Amongst all of the fights. Amongst all the p themselves. We'll break it up with a little, a nice little moment. And then he asks to put it in a bloody arse, man. Honestly, chivalry's dead, guys. Can you imagine them doing this in the 1600s? Having a picnic to put it up the bum? If this is the way this guy sets up the question to do it, Imagine his engagement one. Not going in me arse. Well, the card woman said you're ready for the next step. I don't care what the card woman said, you're not putting in me It was a full move. To be fair, like, that is actually true. Like, you know, he's went to a fortune teller. And why is the fortune teller, like, doing that? Like, I would pay that fortune teller a visit. Like, if they were like, oh, yeah, Cam's ready to put something up his arse, I'd be like, who? <laughs> fortune teller, come here. Right, you're getting a smack. Why, why are you trying to put things in a red? Leave that out, thank you very much. I don't care what your stupid f***ing cards say. You can Right off. Why would that even be on the cards? How could you even read that on the cards? Oh my god, there's a look at taking the bread! It's a snake! I'm not even joking, it's an actual snake! I think that's an eel. I you know I'm not David Attenborough, but I don't think that's a snake. Every time I watch this show, I just think, what does does the rest of the country think that we're all like this? I feel like they do. Like this was our representation. Jordy Shaw is the, the Newcastle's representation of what the people are like. Like, if you think of famous Geordie people, it's not in the best representation. Like, we've got Jordy Shaw, Paul Gascoigne. It's just it's just absolute mental people. People who are just also, guys, if you haven't already, press the subscribe button because we're closing in on 100,000 subscribers. And we're so close. Join the donuts. This program contains strong language. By the way, the title of this clip is absolutely mental. Fists and shagging. What? What? I I need to see this. So I've got him to bed and now I just need to try and get him to sleep. But that isn't working. So I've got him to bed. Now I just need to try and f him. Scott is being really insecure and I can't tell him everything he wants. Scott, man, will you just get fisted? This one thing, the fortune teller said you're ready. The card said that you're ready for the fist. Don't worry, I won't open me and. Remember when that was, can you remember when that was a thing? This is, I don't know if this is outrageous for me to say. You know, I'm going to say it. If it gets left in the video, it gets left in. There was a rumour in my school that, you know, if you did end up, you know, f***ing someone, like, with your fist, and then once it was in, if you opened your hand, it would paralyse them. Like, their full body body would be paralysed. That was like a rumour. Because apparently that happened to someone in, in, in like, my area. I never saw that person. But I, I, I just want to know if that's actually real. Like, does that actually paralyse someone? It's like, it's like, a, it's like Thanos, like, clicking. That's all right. I'm going to stop. I've done nothing but care about you. I've done nothing, Sean. I've done f***ing all wrong. I came in here and I Care about you. How outrageous is it that he's like screaming and shouting his head off whilst cupping his balls? He's like, <laughs> just put some pads on. That will help everybody. Then you can use your hands and you can be a little bit more like, you know, seem like you care. I would just laugh if someone was shouting at me whilst cupping like this. I'd just like crease. Like, how can you look at them with a straight face? Just said, I don't miss him. I went, you did not say that to him. Oh my god, he just fucking... What did the mirror do? That's from TK Max, thank you very much. That was 40 quid, I'll have that back. I feel like that's a red flag. It's like that meme, you know, if you like go to a lad's house and he shows you the, the dint in the wall that he's punched, he's like, I did that. It's like, oh, it's a little bit of a red flag though, isn't it? Why were you punching the wall? He's just got a footmark in his bedroom. Did you kick? Did you, did you kick the door? In, did you? Yeah, okay. That's not terrifying at all. I'm lying there banging this blondie and the time in life I can hear people shouting. I'm like... Do I leave the room? Do I stay? Do I keep banging? Am I gonna what the f going on? This man, right, there could be an earthquake. There could be a tsunami. There could be a zombie apocalypse. And that wouldn't stop this man from shagging. Genuinely, like, there'd be nothing. There could be, like, a guy with a chainsaw in the bedroom and he would make sure that he finishes. This man is just outrageous. No, because I was arguing with the girl. What? What the f Just started on me there. Even at all. That carrot was really nice.
but sorry, sorry, sorry. Is there a member of The Walking Dead here? Look at this woman. Carrot was really nice. Tell me that that is not something that would try and kill Rick Grimes. What do you mean that carrot was really nice? It's even got like B zero six here. This looks like like. Like, it's zombie apocalypse room, and she looks like a zombie. Does she just eat a carrot off the floor and she's searching for more? These people are outrageous. I thought I didn't know you were Gary's best mate. I'm dead, sorry. What's I didn't happened? know. What's you nasty cow. I okay. say you not do no. that. How dare you not stand up for me That's there? Vicky Pattinson was actually unhinged in Jodie Shaw. Like, she's so different now. In Jodie Shaw, she was like a mentalist. She was insane. She just like... It's as if she had a gun and she was just hiding her face and she was just shooting everyone she could. Everyone was on our radar. French people love a good pube. Well, I've got plenty of them, Frenchies! <laughs> plenty, would you say, love? You've got plenty of them? That's nice. Do the French people love pubes? Is that a known thing? Well, next time I go to the Eiffel Tower, I'm just gonna keg myself, right? Let it grow for a week. That's, that's awful. Do they love pubes? Do they? If everyone's got a bush there, there's gonna be so many forest fires. Scott is giving it the big and like he's some sort of sommelier. Mmm. I'm getting overtones of pretentious that's one thing actually you know like with wine like have you ever been in a restaurant where you've ordered wine and like they, they, they come over at you and like this they, they make you taste it like test it like it's the most awkward thing ever like you you don't know what to say like they give you like a tiny little bit you drink it and you go yeah that is that is wine i'll have some more thank you very much like do they prank some people and give them like ribena like why do they make you taste it has anybody ever went no like, I don't feel like that's, like, a thing you say. It's like when you're in the barbers and they show you the, you're the back of your head. You're like, yeah. Right? Nobody says no. Now, I've never had to say no. Like, it's never looked bad. But if it did look bad, you'd just be like, yeah, that's exactly what I asked for. Jojo Siwa's name shaved in the back of my head. Exactly. That's the trim. I need it. Holly's being a right about trying the snails. Maybe it's one of the lads should tell her the cock flavour. She'll munch the whole bowl. Some... <laughs> Yeah, for starters, I love the potato skins, and then for main... Yeah, I'll go for the flavoured snails, thank you very much. I feel like she would have it less if it was the if the snails were flavoured. I don't know why. Just a hunch I get, guys, you know. Don't feel like flavoured snails would uh, taste that nice at all. Don't even know what that would taste like. Do snails have I'm not too sure. Do snails have willies? The French people are looking at us like we're from Mars. Haven't you ever tried to deep a massive baguette like it's a huge pig? Why is this trip to Paris so outrageous? Like, why would you... This is such, like, a jolly thing to do. Like, just get a whole baguette in front and try and just shove it all in your mouth. Oh, no. No, I'm never going to Paris and ever telling them I'm from Newcastle because this is what they'll think I'm like. But what? Mission accomplished. Dodged the minger. Got a little stunner in my room. Bring on Geordie Shaw. Oh, God, that's a dick. And I love how every time he talks, it's like he has to put... This, it's like he's doing like front stroke in like a swimming pool. Like really emphasizes every word. I might just start doing these videos like this. This is like proper entertaining. Bit crack on with Gary. Nice one, the shag pad, all mine the need. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, no, no, yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, that's Can you imagine having to like, <laughs> argue with like another guy about who gets the shag pad? No. Oh. I broke the shag pad tonight. No, the shag pad's mine. No, it's not. It's mine. I said I've got the shag pad. No, it's mine. Okay, that's enough, guys. If you would like to see me react to more insane Jodie Shaw moments, more insane than this video, click right here. I watch a brand new video from me right here. Champ Kirkham, baby.